Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it does pick up too. But then if I go further back, and I it's going to prioritise you, no? Yeah. When do I actually get in? Like, can it physically, like, how can it actually physically focus on two people unless they're at the same distance? Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's got the capacity to change the aperture like that. Who are you? <laughs> I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I've tidied the office, guys, because uh, Tanya was coming in. <laughs> this is tidy. Yeah, this is tidy. Like, like people have asked what the hell this is. Why have you got a right, uh, My hand was uh, basically, obviously, we're in Shoreditch, which is famous for the creatives. I won't say what I was going to say in the next <laughs> bit. But if you've been to Shoreditch, you probably know, you can probably finish that sentence off. So the building we're in actually has probably over a hundred other businesses and uh, there's quite a lot of creative so I think that was hanging outside and then my brother Mitchell when he was working for me before I sacked him took that and he'd have this like leopard, not, not leopard, this sheepskin coat so every time they come in they put that on the mannequin and then like his flat cap so it's sort of that's been here as long as I've been here. Yeah, because Shoreditch is Rag District, isn't it? The what one? The Rag District. Yes. Yeah, so creative and um, there's a lot of recruitment companies around here as well. Yeah. Massive amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trendy, trendy, tailored stuff. So the mannequin now makes sense. Yes, <laughs> um, but uh, that definitely won't be coming to Brisbane. Like if you me. go to the custard factory up in Birmingham, they've got uh, some weird stuff all there. Yeah, so this is Tanya. Hey. Um, <laughs> this is Eric Helms, but the equivalent of, rather than me doing a bodybuilding prep, this is my business launch prep for August the 28th. Put it in your diaries. I've only, I probably only mentioned it a couple of times over the last two vlogs. But yeah, Tanya's helping me with the business side of things. Did you want to say a little bit about yourself? Um, so I'm a fitness and health industry marketer, I guess, communication specialist, strategist. Um, I'm not a fit pro marketer. Um, don't ever call me that and don't call me a social media guru either. Yeah. Communications strategy specialist. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, anyone who called, like refers to themselves as a guru, you know like, shut up. <laughs> like no one, like who actually would like to be called a guru? I think it's more of an American term, no? It's definitely an American term. That and social media maven. Like, what even is that? <sighs> maven. I've heard it all. I am now going to buy, I'm going to buy one of Jeff's training programs because I've just been training just doing bits and pieces here I mean he's got a few here upper lower we don't follow Jeff follow his uh, YouTube just type his name in Jeff Nippard um, so I think I'm gonna go for the fundamentals hypertrophy program only 27.99 uh, it comes with three programs so I've got upper lower split full body and then body part split so I'm gonna give I'm training four or five times a week so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go and uh, I'll let you know, let you guys know how I find it. Always a good day at the office when you come into two parcels from De Novo. Be careful, gentle. This one's for Laura, but I think it may be for me. Yes, yeah, for me, it's t shirts. T oh, oh, fuck it. Ah! I wonder what this is. We have. Let's just have a look. The DN on the front. The tagline on the back. Be relentless. Oh. From Denova. Now I don't know if this should come from the new fulfillment centre or from the actual manufacturer themselves. We have a salted caramel uh, whey protein, very nice, not one, but two. And we have the brand new Ignite Grape. Didn't pay any customs on this this time, didn't pay any customs. Just always inconsistent, do you know what I mean? Sometimes they charge, sometimes they don't. Sometimes. Um, they open up your product actually and they flip in 
They stabbed my whey protein the other time. And they had on it tested. Things that scare personal trainers. We'll fast forward this bit. The tax man. Second one. The lawyer. Or, um, let me, uh, we'll do it there. The lawyer. So, just speaking to Andy Liddell, who works at Financial Fitness Limited, and on August 28th, all of our personal trainer qualifications will have as mandatory a course on accounting for personal trainers, so you don't get scared when you get that letter through, or who hates it when you get that letter, that horrible looking envelope, pretty similar to this color, with HMRC on it. We hate it, hate to get those letters. So we're gonna do a course on accounting for personal trainers, so self-employed versus limited company, um, how to file your accounts, what are taxable uh, expenses, and all of that stuff, because I know if you've been from employed to uh, self-employed, it can be quite scary. Even me to this day, it goes over my head. So that's gonna be a core course that all of our personal trainer qualification students will have. The next one, as you said, was the lawyer, or when your client injures themselves in your presence, in your session, in your boot camp, in your spin class, in your zumba, in your boxing but no punching, no contact, level 29 class, I was gonna say course, but it is a class. Um, so we will also be given a uh, insurance for fitness professionals or personal trainers. I don't know what the name's gonna be called yet. Again, accidents happen um, with a lot of the insurance you'll get. Uh, mute that. You think it covers you, but it doesn't cover you. So it's extremely important to make sure you get the right cover. What are you covered for? How can you reduce the risk of being sued? Um, so again, two courses that will be mandatory because they're stuff that we should know as personal trainers, as fitness professionals how to do our own accounts, how to make sure we keep records of stuff, that we're putting enough money aside for when the tax man comes around and goes, <laughs> give me the money, we have enough in the bank, and we're like, oh shit, I forgot to save. And again, looking at insurance and making sure that we are covered for when we train our clients. Anyway, um, my good friend Jerome. Good looking brother. Was it Bose? Bo, Bo, it's not Bose speakers, B O L Z E. Apologies, Jerome, if you're watching this. It is coming down soon. We're going to go for lunch. I don't know what we're going to do for lunch. Yesterday I had Wagamama's today. I might just say, Jerome, I need to be a little bit better with my food. Um, can we go Tesco's? So I've got a nice little sandwich, a salad, and some chicken with my name on it. Um, but yeah, we'll get Jerome in. He's, uh, he owns the Performance Project, which is a successful gym in Haywood Heath, which I think is going towards near Brighton, but I could be wrong. So uh, we may, I may ask Jerome some questions on uh, advice for people looking to open a gym. That could be the theme of this vlog. Tesco's new brand, uh, it looks like Nando's. It is Nando's, double chicken pizza pot, macho peas, spicy rice. Jerome's gone for, what is that? Double chicken pizza with pineapple, some cheese, chili jam, the winner. So you've got pips out your double pizza. And then what is that? Mash. 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 Looks like rice on there. I've not had it before. No? It's all right. No. Sick though. Sick. Right, this but is Jerome. You've Hello. already seen him, he's had a cheeky Nando's. You have cheese and pineapple on it. Yeah. Um, and chili jam. Jerome has his own gym, as I mentioned earlier in the blog, before Jerome actually come in. And uh, this is gonna be in-person gym owner 101 marketing guru ninja tactic. Go, Jerome. Oh, no. uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll show you. Basically, these vouchers, um, we actually created these at Christmas, because I was gonna, we, we basically, printed a bunch of vouchers. I'll show you the screen now. And we're gonna give it to... Let's have a little, let's zoom it in, let's get it. So you can see that, right. Perfect, hold it, carry on. 
Yeah, so we got this created. We wanted to gift like our top kind of like 10 members who have either been with us a long time, spent a lot of money, or just kind of like achieved great results. We're going to gift them um, a, a voucher to give to a friend. So like, like, you can have this. So if you know a family member or a friend that would value training with us, like mm. feel free to give it to them and it will seem like a gift from you because it was at Christmas. So yeah. like, there's no cost, there's no price attached to it. So if someone has a gym, it could be a month membership, it could be whatever you want it to be. But we basically gifted them the chance to give a friend or family member a month of training. And then they're like, perfect, I don't have to get them a present anymore. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. It, it looks like it's, they paid for it. And then we're yeah. like... And look, like you've got a, the quality, like this is, this is fit, that doesn't bend. And that's black and gold. And also like you can see the branding's black. Do you have gold on the other? Or do you just put gold in for like, Premium golden ticket, Willy Wonka yeah. chocolate factory. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah, just for a bit of fun. It was like gold because just it's fucking gold and shit. It's cool. Um, but yeah, anyway. So then we thought well, actually we could do this any time of the year. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. So what we did was um, rather than our, like referrals, like people people talk like about the importance of like, referrals, but we we made it even easier for people. So we said right, we're going to do this all year round. So every every month we give out like tons of these. We say right, if you've got a family member or friend that you think will value what we do, they can afford our fees, you think they'll fit in, like feel free to give this to them as a gift. Yeah. Because it benefits us because now we've like we've basically educated our client about who we want. Yeah. We hopefully attract people that are gonna enjoy what we do. And we know we can deliver, we've got a product we believe in, so therefore they're more likely to stay with us and then And you know that your client can afford your services and your clients are your clients long term clients for a reason. They're probably gonna have friends that are gonna be of a similar Similar to them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like even Facebook, you do like uh, look like similar audiences, so you know that they're the right people to give it to because they're likely going to have friends or know people that are going to be very similar in many traits, not only financially but as a person who would be a good fit for the gym. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Like that's so yeah, hundred percent. People will. And you gave this to what the estate? This is the thing where I want like it's it's that connection. So obviously, you're using your your current members. Yeah. But just tell them about the estate agents and, and how you've worked with them. Cool. So after like uh, after playing around with it, giving it to mem members, seeing good results off the back of it, we thought we we ha how can we utilise other business owners in the area? So we I had I know people that train at the gym that we have like coffee shop owners, we have beauticians, we have shop owners, and then we also have people that um, directors of estate agents. So I thought I want people of influence in the area. So like even if it's a coffee shop owner, I like went up to them. Um, they got footfall, didn't they? They're coming in. They're they know people, people that go yeah. in there for coffee that don't go to your gym. Exactly. And barbers. Uh, I've got a good close friend, Jimmy, who runs a barber shop. So it's like, right. I know Jimmy. Got it shredded. He did got shredded. Yeah, so the same thing. It's basically like, look, look, if you got. So with Jimmy, I'm going to go into the estate agent thing in a second. But Jimmy, it's like, right, first of all, we've got a poster in the shop. But not everyone goes to the barber shop and they've got. They can afford our, 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 our fees. But they can see the trial poster. Mm. What Jimmy does is, I was like, right, if you've got any long-term like customers and you feel like you, you feel this person can enjoy what we do, you can say thank you for being a customer of Jimmy's for five years. Here's a voucher to my favourite gym. I think you'll love it. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them the power to basically gift these things, mm -hmm. and it's in our it's in our interest because if we do our job right, we have a high potential of keeping that person on. Yeah. And then what I thought, right, okay, who else can we offer? Like, who else can we offer this? Um, estate agents the reason for that is people are spending big money on houses and we can be very particular of who we give these vouchers out to so what I, 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 a, a guy a member of our gym um, his his company sell ha plenty of houses a million pound up in our area so it was a no-brainer like when you sell a house it can be a very easy thank you thank you for doing business with us here's a voucher to my favorite gym so we set that up now with two estate agents um, and that's a little secret of ours yeah. But it's, it's, it works both ways because it's like it's a no-brainer for the estate agent if you've got if they generally love what we do because both these estate agents train with us mm -hmm. so like they know us inside out but I'm not contacted like a nobody yeah so if you're looking at the people you currently have a connection with and that's the thing like because you do have that one-to-one -one interaction with them and it's not online you get to know those people a lot better than other people would like if you was online coach say like Jimmy for example Barbara he's going to be chatting to them. He's going to know what car they drive because he can see what they pulled up in. He's going to know what job they've got. He's going to know if they're going to be a good fit for the gym. And you're not just going, 
yeah, I might take it, and the person's like, you don't want that. You want it to go into people that, yes, can will get value from it, but would also the chances of them like staying on as a, a member or a client is going to be extremely high because of all of them different factors. Yeah, exactly. When when I, if I were to rewind my my kind of like mindset now versus where I was five years ago. Mm. At the beginning, I was like, just numbers, like we just want anyone to be interested. So you'd give these vouchers to everyone. Whereas now, care, I'm like, You're I want less. I want less. I, want, I don't. I don't want loads of people. I want. How can we get them? Mo- like, how can we get really specific so that people are leads? You can call them like high are, quality leads. Yeah. Um. Just narrow that pot right down so that I want to speak to ten people this month that are most likely, ninety percent likely, to stay on with us. So the reason for the, the barbershop one works well because Jimmy will either know his customer really well mm. and therefore give them one or he will hear someone in the barbershop talking about fitness and talking about maybe they they had a trainer or uh, and they didn't really get on with them really well or they've seen Jimmy's results like how did you do that he's like you know what I've got something for you yeah because of I've got a limited amount of these but you seem like you I think you des- you deserve this yeah <laughs> bam <laughs> Boom. yeah exactly or he, he, he'll have a customer that's been speaking about it for a year and he's like you know what you've been with the customer of ours for four or five years now you've been talking about training Oh, I've got something perfect for you, bang. Whereas the estate agent one, the house one, is is important, is valuable for many reasons because not only are these people potentially, uh, sorry, they have the they have the, the financial uh, capability to train with us. Mm-hmm. Saying that, not everyone with money, they, people spend their money differently. So just yeah. because they ha- buy a house worth a million or two million doesn't mean they're going to invest in training. But they potentially have the money available. But also, we 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 are getting put through the letterbox of people that have just moved to the area. So that's one of the most important bits because they've either moved out of London and into our area, Sussex, and therefore they may well be looking for a facility or a gym. Um, and we're, we're in there literally from day one. And the thing is, like, I just wrap this up because obviously it's a long video. But just the the quality of this, do you know what I mean? Like, you could have easily gone like people. You, if you're going to use this tactic. Then think about how much you're spending per one of these. Like, how much does that cost in total? You reckon that just to make this? Well, so the order I did yesterday, we ordered from so we ordered the, the envelopes separately from one company. We ordered the the, the, the actual card from SolarPress. The total spend was about 225 pound for Which is one member for 150 of them. Yeah, let, yeah. Let, well, member will spend more than that per month. Yeah, so well, like yeah. you got 150 of them. Yeah, and what you sell. Basically, by just doing that, you've got 150 opportunities, and all you need is one to get your money back. Yeah. And that's just one person only signed up for one month. Problem is, people look at it and think, I'm spending 200 pound on like that, like this, and that, and that. But you just nailed it. One person. One person. One person. Boom.